What's up guys, welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, so happy to be here with you guys as always. Uh, today we have a special guest with us. This is my buddy Mason. He is the leader of Golgotha Elite. What's up guys? Um, he's also one of my Young Life guys. I know a lot of y'all have heard me talk about Young Life. Um, if you have it at your school, check it out. Promise you that you'll have a lot of fun and we might even run into each other at camp or something. But today, um, we're just gonna be messing around. Uh, Mason came over to hang out and uh, you know, we're just hanging out on our Clash account. So I'm going to do a Go Wee Wee attack on my Town Hall 9, um, see if we can find some awesome loot. Uh, Mason just got done raiding a second ago, so I'm going to switch over to my Town Hall 8 account after this. We're going to watch that raid, and then we're going to do a raid on that as well. So you guys are going to have a couple raids in this video, which is awesome. Um, you better leave a like for that, okay? But we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a base with a good amount of loot um, I actually had an awesome clan war today using this same strategy. Um, I got six stars. I'm going to do a, a clan war recap next. So definitely make sure that y'all look out for that. But I'm, I'm learning this strategy and I'm liking it a lot. So let's see if we can find ourselves a base with, I don't know, like 400,000 in resources or something like that. Um, hopefully one will pop up here soon. But yeah, me and Mason are just hanging out. I got off work a little bit ago and... Um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do after we make videos. We'll probably just clash some more or something. Um, but I'm going to keep on searching and then um, see if I can find a base for you guys and show you, so that y'all don't have to wait around. I'll go ahead and edit this out. And then once I find a base, then we'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. All right. All right, guys. So we were only gone for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something. Yeah. And this base just came up. It's got 2000 Dark Elixir and it's got over 500,000 in resources. Uh, his Archer Queen is only level 1 and his King is only level 5 so without a doubt I think we're going to pretty much annihilate this base. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack from the top where the Archer Queen is um, and yeah here we go so we're going to drop off our goblins or our goblins our golems on either side and then go ahead and drop off a couple wall breakers and then fan out some of our wizards and then we're going to drop our witches up here in the corner so they can start spawning some um, some skellies for us, and we'll go ahead and drop off a um, a rage spell right there. And then, honestly, everybody's just going to start working their way in, just annihilating everything, because that's how it works with this strategy. Wizards and skeletons just go around the base and honestly just absolutely wreck it. Um, I can almost guarantee you that we're going to get a three-star on this one, uh, without a doubt, <clears throat> which is going to be awesome, because that's going to be a lot of loot for us. Um, you can see our wizards and our witches are just completely annihilating. All three of our witches are still up. Um, one of our golems is still at full health. It looks like he's about to bust, though. Um, we'll go ahead and rage our king down here just so he can get some of his health back up. And we still have a whole bunch of wizards, so we're just going to drop these guys off at the top. And let's go ahead and just drop another rage spell right here to help out these witches and the golems right there. Um, our king is down here having an epic battle with his... And we just dropped him without a problem. I'm going to go ahead and drop the queen down as well down here in the corner. She's going to snag all of that gold for us. This is turning into an awesome find and an awesome raid, guys. That 2000 Dark Elixir is definitely going to help me out. Um, I'm not going to go up to Town Hall 10 until I reach um, level 15 heroes. So that's why I am looking for all as... <laughs> I just stuttered like a noob. Uh, that's why I'm looking for as much Dark Elixir as I can get. But we'll go ahead and use our Queen's ability right here. And she'll knock out that um, cannon and archer tower with just two shots. And then we're going to finish up this raid right now. We're at 98%. We're going to get 21 trophies and a really good amount of loot. It looks like we still have two witches up. And yeah, that was an awesome, awesome raid. Definitely love finding raids like that, guys. Um, perfect. Let's see. So that is, again, over 500,000 in resources and over 2,000 Dark Elixir, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, we're also going to go ahead and just upgrade a bomb as well. It costs a million gold, which is really annoying, honestly. But we'll just go ahead and spend it because I don't have anything else to spend gold on except for walls. Um, and I guess we'll go ahead and train up another um, of that same army comp, but we're not going to do, we're going to do Go White this time because uh, I don't want to use up all of my Dark Elixir on witches because they're extremely expensive. Um, we're going to do three P.E.K.K.A.s and another ten Wall Breakers and um, just throw in some Wizards, see how many we can fit in here until it breaks, and then we'll just throw in 
one little goblin and that is going to be it. But we'll be back in just a second. I'm going to switch over to my Town Hall 8 account. Um, I'll have a raid on there. Mason's going to uh, give a couple shout outs to some of our clan mates and then we're going to show his raid as well. So we'll be back with you guys in just a second, alright? Hey, what's up guys? So we are back. As you can see, we are on my Town Hall 8 account, which I haven't been on in like a day. So that's why I'm getting so much from my resource collectors right now. Um, I need to be more active on this account. I know that I do. Um, uh, but Mason is always active in this clan, guys. If y'all are looking for a good active clan with an awesome leader, then you definitely want to check out Golgotha Elite. You can see it right there in the middle of the screen. And now Mason's going to say what's up to a couple of his friends. So if y'all are watching, then make sure you leave a like for your friend, all right? Well, first of all, I'm going to shout out my clan member or my co-leaders, Damien, Messi, King, Eric. Uh, there's Justin, who's my friend down the street. And Mega Boss Dragon, who has a forum, so you guys should check that out. And Minecrafter. And then these friends down the street wanted me to say hi. So Michael and Michael, sup? And that's it. Alright guys, so that's Mason. If you are watching this video and he just gave you a shout out, you're a very lucky person. Make sure you leave a like for that, alright? Um, and we're going to go ahead and watch uh, Mason's three star that he got just a second ago. Um, we're going to go ahead and replay this. And uh, we can talk a little bit about it, but... This was an awesome find, wasn't it? Yes. So anytime you find a base like this, it's great because all the loot is on the outside just hanging out in the mines and pumps. Um, so he drops off his balloons, gets those into the middle, and then as those take out all the defenses, you send in your minions to take out everything else, right? Yeah, they come later because there I like are. to focus on my spells so right. I get my rage spells timed right. Yeah, so now the minions are going to be just fine because... All the bombs are gone, and um, the air defenses on that side of the base are gone as well. Um, this Balloonian, Balloonian, however the freak you say it, is going pretty well. Um, I normally don't use that strategy just because, I don't know, I haven't practiced it that much, but Mason seems like he's got it down pat. He's got these max level balloons that oh came out of his clan castle. Do you know who gave them to you? Uh, I'm not sure, but Damien did, donates me a lot of balloons. So. Right, it was probably Damien. Um... So he drops off that heal spell right there just to keep those uh, balloons up until they uh, take out, I think that was a wizard tower, which definitely needed to be taken out because his minions were coming over. So the king's just working his way around. We'll go ahead and fast forward this up a little bit. You can see the minions are doing some serious work. And there's all of the loot. Um, and then here comes the three star right here with the help from those minions. So 21 trophies and over 300,000 resources is not bad. Um, I don't even know if I have an army trained up. I do. It looks like it's all uh, barch. Yeah, so we're going to go and see what we can find. Um, hopefully we can find something uh, that was kind of like Mason's Raid where everything's on the outside. You know, just easy easy loot from people that have abandoned the game after the update. Even though I don't think the update was that bad. Um, a lot of people were complaining about heroes and stuff, but I don't know. I haven't really had an issue with it. So um, we're just going to keep on looking. I'm not going to cut away this time because hopefully I can find something pretty soon. But <clears throat> I hope that you guys are enjoying this. I know it's a little different having Mason here and um, switching between accounts and whatnot. But I think it's fun. And here is the base we're going to attack. You can see that these elixir collectors right here are completely full. You can see they're full of um, elixir, obviously, because they're elixir collectors. But we're going to go ahead and just drop off a bunch of our barbarians down here on the side and then I'm gonna drop off a bunch of archers as well and we're just gonna completely annihilate this base um, we're gonna take out this pump up here at the top and I don't know if there's anything in those pumps uh, since they are under construction it depends on when he started uh, the upgrade on them but we're just gonna continue going after these uh, gold storages or these gold pumps over here um, gold mine sorry and then we're gonna see it looks like there might be some in these uh, no there's not so let's see if we can take out this corner right here uh, where the research laboratory is and then hopefully we can get in there to that elixir storage and take out some of that before our troops go down. Um, yep, there it all goes. There's probably only like 10 or 15,000 elixir in there, um, which isn't too bad. So yeah, and we were able to get 55%, so I'm definitely okay with that, saving us some trophies. Um, let's go ahead and end the battle right there. 
well, no, it looks like our Barbarians are going to come down here and get us a little bit more gold, even though there's not that much left. Um, now we'll go ahead and just end the battle, 58%. That's not a bad raid, especially with uh, Barch. Finding stuff like that is always awesome. And then I always just come in here and just fill it up. It's always random numbers. I don't really care. It's cheap, and you can always pick off town halls and stuff. Um, and whenever you find bases like the one I just found, again, it's very, very effective and cost efficient. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. You got to see three awesome raids. Uh, you got to see a Go Wee Wee. You got to see a Balloonian. And then you just got to see a Barch. You got to meet my buddy Mason right here. Say bye to him, Mason. Peace out. All right, guys. And me and Mason are both going to uh, close with what I always say. What is it? It's keep calm and clash, clash on. on. All right. We'll see you guys later.